Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some champions. Now, this time, I took up champions over like three different level ups, but I only did like one. There just wasn't a lot going on, and there weren't that many champions I really wanted to take up. However, and we'll talk about this later, something happened. And that's why we have another rank four going up today. All right. And I'll definitely talk about that uh, in, in a little bit here. All right. So the first champion that I'm taking up in this video is Baron Zemo. Now there is some controversy surrounding Baron Zemo and he went pretty low I was able to pick him up in the arena, uh, in the basic arena, for a pretty low uh, score. So let me talk a little bit about the uh, controversy. So Baron Zemo has the root mechanic in his kit. And if you watch most of the videos about Baron Zemo, they feature that root. And the reason people were so excited to use him was because of those videos and that route. He was able to lock folks down. Um, once he rooted them, they would just keep firing heavy attacks and they would not fire a special three. So you could push your opponent to a special three and just keep going and if you had like a power boost and you know uh you were close to another one you could really recycle it and lock them down indefinitely until they were done okay obviously kabam doesn't like that type of thing so what kabam is doing is they are changing the way the root mechanic works and uh, from what I understand, opponents will fire special threes while rooted. So you're not able to do that. Now, does that make Baron Zemo a completely worthless champ? Absolutely not. He is still a good champion. However, those who went for the champion for that particular style of gameplay, and that's what got them interested and you know, why there was so much hype about him, they're not happy. And you could understand why. Not only that, but there were two particular champions affected by it. Uh, Baron Zemo, obviously, and also another who people don't really use, Craven, Craven the Hunter. It really wrecks him. Now, I don't remember all of the details of the uh, changes to the root mechanic. And I don't really use Craven, so I'm not really familiar as to why it makes him pretty much trash. But Kabam is issuing or has issued rank down tickets only for Craven, not for Baron Zemo. That has irritated a lot of people. Okay. And I can't even tell you the, the fire that took place because of that. Um, <clears throat> some people, you know, they, they are very loud. All right, but anyway, Baron Zemo is still a good defender. So the next one is gonna be Silk. Now, Silk, I wasn't too interested in Silk at first, okay? I was like, all right, you know, she looks cool. And I was watching some of her movements and I'm like, okay, she kind of reminds me of like Spider Gwen, who I like. And I'm like, okay, well, I can, you know, get into her style of play. But then something happened. Now, I had not looked into Silk, but I was fighting with her during uh, an arena, Moskrain Arena. But anyway, uh, during the arena, I decided to try something because I heard someone tell me on 
uh, another video that I should weave in heavy attacks. And I'm like, what do they mean, weave in heavy attacks? You know, I'm like, are you saying she's like, you know, wasp or something like that? So I decided to test it out and was very surprised and pleased when it worked. I said, whoa, 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 hold up. So I went ahead and, you know, did a combo right into a heavy. They got stunned. I said, whoa. So she has a style like Wasp and Spider-Gwen. I'm like, I'm in. The only thing that uh, she seemed to have been lacking was damage. And that's when I saw some videos on her damage. I was like, wow, that is insane. That is crazy. So we've got a champion who has the style I like, you know, nice little animations, nice and smooth, and plays like Wasp, who I also like, if you guys remember, and has the damage like Wasp. And I started looking and I'm like, wait, wait, she's evading specials too? Oh my goodness. I was like, okay, we got to do this. We have definitely got to do this. All right. Um, I watched, um, I think I was on FinTech's uh, live stream and he was in Battlegrounds. Now, if you don't know FinTech, he is very, very good. So I'm watching him and he chose to fight with Silk. I'm like, okay. Let me see what FinTech does with her. Guys, that was a beastly performance on Silk. I watched and she destroyed the opponent. Okay? Not just to mention the um the slow when she's awakened, uh, as you can see there. Um she is just crazy. So that's why I decided to take her up to rank three. Of course, there will be um, a video on her later. Okay, now for the rank four. And this was actually a surprise. I was not planning to take this champion up to rank four, but something happened. That happened. The glory store got updated. It got updated and you can see um, right here, there we go. Look at the T6 basic. And I still have, if you see the two down there, I still have glory to claim. Look at the T3. That's what we usually get in the battleground store. Now, this does not make the glory store as good as the battleground store. Okay, but it is way better than it was. Very close, just because of those T6 basic and T3 alpha. So now they are way more available. So guess what? I can now not worry so much about my um, rank fours. They're going to be coming in a little bit more frequently. So as you can see here, I'm just grabbing them up. And remember, I still have other glory that I can uh, claim. Um, so you see I'm getting one at a time, and then bam. All right, so that gives me one because I already had two. And then I'm going to do the same for the tier three. And see, I was not expecting to be able to do this just yet. I was going to get some. I didn't have a lot. I have like 2,000 Battleground tokens. So I figured it wouldn't be until next Battleground season sometime. And maybe then I'd be able to get it. Or, you know, I still had some left over uh, that I could get from exploring the event quest. But. These are my rank three champions. Okay. Look over them. They now have an arrow pointing up. These are all the rank threes. And I'm looking over all of these rank threes. Okay. Now, there is one thing that 
would give you guys an idea of who I was going to rank up. But I'll talk more about it when I select the champion that I'm going to take up. And it's going to be Silk. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Previously, I had a rule. If the champion is available as a seven star, I'm not going to take them up to rank four. Why? Because rank four materials were so rare. So taking a champion up to rank four, or maybe even rank five, was a waste of resources. Okay? Um, still maybe rank five, but rank four, you could use those resources to, resources to take up a champion to rank five or a seven star to rank two. And so I was not about to take up a champion. Now, Silk is available as a seven star. People already have the seven star. And her awakened ability, it's nice. It's utility. That's it. It's just utility. It's that slow mechanic, really. And there's another um, uh, thing that you could do there. So because I can now get more T6 basics and T3 alpha fragments, that is no longer a limiting factor. So now all of my rank threes are eligible, even if they are available as seven stars. So you can see there uh, in the second bullet point, that's another little bit of utility. She doesn't really need to be awakened. Okay. So a seven star, Take it to rank two. Now, look at this. I got seven of these things. I just got another one from the side quest. And so I said, let me go ahead and uh, just awaken her. Why not? Now she has a slow in her kit. Okay? So, anyway, um, I'm not going to dump this because I'm still trying to get a uh, spot to SIG 200. All right? Uh, so, anyway... That is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Take care. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And you all have a blessed day.